countries get gray listed. It means that they uh, face strategic deficiencies in AM and safety. So they need help. They need support. Obviously, they ask support to other donors which are available in the world. Global Facility is one of them. We have seen that sometimes the same tasks can be requested to different donors. To avoid that, we suggest the countries to implement Technical Assistance Coordination Committee, that we call the TAC, which aim to gather in the same group all the technical assistance providers. At the Global Facility, we have implemented a methodology to help the countries to implement the TAC. We need a representative of the partner country to contact all the donors, invite them to join the group. To have the partner country, we have drafted, for instance, some terms of reference, it can be shared with other donors. And also we help the partner country to create what we call the matrix, it means the FATF requirements. Then we gather all of us, most of the time of course online because donors are in different countries. We share the tasks and we follow up on the different progress. Advantage, there is no overlapping between the, uh, the activities. Second advantage, we are able this global facility to cooperate so we can combine resources. With that matrix updated, uh, the competent authorities in the partner country have a very clear overview of what needs to be done, what has been done and what it's still to be done.